but I'll blow my smoke out on camera just so they know. Isn't that a shame, guys? Isn't that a complete shame? That's like I told them. Not everybody does methamphetamine, y'all. Just because y'all's on that shit don't mean we are. My whole family's little. If that's what you're, you know, that's all they can say is, look how skinny she is. I've been this size my whole life. My whole damn life. Hell, my dad only weighed 110 pounds in the ninth grade. Come on now. And if you do hear a lighter striking, it's either my cigarette or my hookah. Oh, and I smoke CBD. Show do. And I didn't start smoking it till I got on this damn thing. These people on here be driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, you see. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, I've got a lot of rest and, you know, just been taking it easy. Um, this was actually affecting my health. Uh, I was throwing up. I was um, losing sleep. I was not able to eat. Um, it has really affected me um, because I really want to find this baby girl and it just pisses me off so bad. Thank you, Lindsay. They were in mine and Lindsay's messages, y'all. They were deleting messages on Messenger. Yeah. And it was only the ones talking about Sheer and BK, and the, like the ones that are connected. Anytime we would show something like that, next thing you know, it's gone. It's gone. But if it was something else, like a different creator that didn't have anything to do with anything, that never would disappear. They're in our phones. They've tapped into my phone. They've tapped into my Facebook. They've tapped into my group. They've tapped into my YouTube. They even tapped into this channel. Um, but that's okay, cause they can. All they're doing is building a case. That's all they're doing. And no, I don't smoke on camera, cause I think it's trashy. I just think it's trashy. I wish to God I could quit smoking. It's not. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of smoking cigarettes. It's disgusting. And I've tried to quit several of times. And I was doing really good with it till all of this bullshit started. But, um, yeah, so I have to come on here and uh, point out facts and tell the true stories and, you know, do whatever I got to do to get this real true information out there. And um, it's sad. It's sad. Uh, they're not going to stop. They are so afraid that I'm going to get them busted or I'm going to get that money. When I've already said I don't even want that money, that if I was to get the um, the reward money, I would. What did I say I would do with that reward money, y'all? What did I say? Because I don't want it. First, I said I would go hand it out to all of them, and then I said no. I think I would just give it to Saint Jude, and that's exactly what I would do. But I would also order some or something like um, some sort of poster or something to put out. Um, like, I don't know. I would figure something out for her. <laughs> Melissa. They need to mind their own damn business. That's what they need to do. Yes, Headstone and St. Jude. That's exactly right, Casey. Oh, and that's another thing, y'all. They're telling people that I am a, um, what was it? Um, people that come on and lie to people to get money and stuff. They said that's what I was doing. But I was hustling people. I never even asked. My subscribers offered. 
So anyway, Cher went live yesterday talking smack smack again about me. Um, like, she's got it like that or something. And you know... Sorry. I was looking at something that said somebody was at my door. Um, and do you know that she has done nothing but give y'all false information <coughs> since day one. False info, y'all. False, false, false. She knows. And she's been withholding information from the police. They know. She thinks because they ain't telling her or going and arresting her that nothing's going to happen. No, they're not arresting nobody right now. They are building a case. This is a serious criminal case. But yes, they told me that she has not helped with this investigation at all. She has not. Sorry, I'm trying to sit up higher. She has not gave them any information that could help locate Summer or help locate the person that may have done this to her. And they said that she has not done nothing for this case and that they've actually had to tell her to quit calling. She was calling every day wanting to know what they found out. What do they know? Why? You scared? You, get, you getting shaky there, girl? That's why. Malia, so you're amazing. So, um, yeah, I raised five hundred and what was it twenty five hundred and twenty eight dollars, I believe. Um for his headstone. And when I hit that amount, that's when um they started making up these lies on me and stealing my channel and everything else. So I was not able to raise any more. Um it's been very difficult to sit here with part of the money to get his headstone and not have the other part. But she can go spend $40,000 to have her teeth removed and more put in. But I'm the scammer. I'm the scammer, not her. Oh, that's what we were talking about, her um, GoFundMe. So I'm going to share that on my group too. She has a GoFundMe up stating that she needs... Um, to restore her confidence because of bullying and harassment. And I find that so damn funny because isn't that what you're doing to me, Cher? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. And let me tell y'all something else. Not my lovely subscribers, but the trolls and the liars. Let me tell y'all this. I am 35 years old. I'll be 36 in a few months. And I got seven kids. One is grown and the other one is 17. Almost grown. I look damn good, okay? Damn good. Not only have I been through, you know, I had my first baby at 15 years old. You know, I've obviously took very good care of myself. You know, if I was on drugs, I would not look like this. Your weight is not... Um, how you determine if someone's on drugs. That's not how you determine <laughs> if somebody is on drugs. Because if that was the case, then almost everybody in my family would be. Or um, everybody that lives in Billing too, because they're all skinny. You know, like, get real, people. Thank you, Casey. Um, I don't care what they say. Absolutely don't. But... Um, my daughters do because I'm their mother and they don't like that these people are doing this. 
and slandering me. Um, their friends are saying this stuff and they are embarrassed. Um, yeah, e exactly, Lindsay. Just stop. You're going to be exposed. You keep coming for me and it's going to get bad, baby girls and boys. Quit coming for me. Leave me alone. I'm not bothering you guys. Why the hell am I waking up every day to a new video they've made about me when I'm not even bothering them? Y'all really think that's over a copyright? So then Sheer even said in her live yesterday that she liked me and she loved my videos and all of that. But then when she seen that on Facebook about me saying that about her, she got upset, and that's when she started. So that tells you right there it wasn't a fucking copyright. Bitch, you play with the wrong one. Ah, uh, damn. What's wrong with you people? Open your eyes, do background checks, write down stuff so you can catch these people in these lies. Like, they lie so much. They lie so much. I catch them in about 10 every day. Every day. Casey, yeah, my daughter quit her job and everything. It's just not right. It's just not right. Yes, Amy, exactly. Matthew, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Karen. So Casey says she was heavyweight when she was on pain medication. So that's what I say. You can't look at somebody's weight and say, oh, look, she's skinny. I've been skinny my whole life. Go look at my son's Facebook from 2015 and 2013. I was this size. I was actually smaller. My mom only weighed 135 pounds. I weigh 115. My sister never done a drug in her life. She don't even believe in Tylenol. She's scared to even take Tylenol. Not even joking. Well, she weighs 87 pounds. And she has two kids. One is three years old. We dropped back down to our weight like only a month after having our babies. And let me show you something. Me being skinny like this, this is normal. This is normal for me. Okay. I wore the same size my whole damn life. My whole life. I've been in a size five my whole entire life. 